Good morning, friends. Myself, Praveen. I am teaching physics in Padima Pew College since from last five years. And I have experience of 10 years in the field of science and as a lecturer. Now, friends, today we are dealing with the first chapter of part one book that is the physical world. Now, before going in detail with what is the meaning of physics, physical world, etc. Now, whatever we see in our day-to-day -day life, it is all about physics. Now, can you imagine a life without a current? Can you imagine a life without electricity? Can you imagine a life without communication? And above all, can you imagine a life without internet nowadays? It is say impossible because in such a way the science is you know cover our day to day life the science and the technology will revolutionizing the world if you compare ourselves with our ancestors the living style the dignity of life everything if we compare then we we'll come to know the role of science and technology in the life. Friends, today we are starting with the first chapter that is the physical world. Now, before understanding the meaning of physics, let us understand the meaning of science. What is science? The word science is basically derived from Latin language. Scientia or Sciencia. The meaning of Sciencia is the nature. Nature. And or to know the nature. The meaning of Sciencia is the nature or to know. And if you take to our Sanskrit The meaning of science now is Vijnana The name itself says Vijnana Vijnana means Vishesha Jnana Special Knowledge Knowledge Similarly If you take the Arab word The meaning of science is Ill. Ill means organized knowledge. Organized knowledge. So now, with these three words only, we can understand the meaning of science or what is the science. According to the Latin language or science, the meaning is to know. According to the science page, Vidyana, special knowledge or knowledge. According to the Arab language, it is still that is organized knowledge. So, in science, what exactly we are doing? So, to gain a knowledge, to know the knowledge, and to organize the knowledge, what we have to do? Two things we have to do very carefully. Number one, that is observation. To experimentation. Observe, experiment, or nice, come to the conclusion that itself becomes with jnana, that is special knowledge or to know of the organized knowledge. So, with this, if I write the definition of science, with this, if I write the definition, it is the way of gaining the knowledge. Systematic in a 
So now, then what is physics? Physics is simply you can say it is the study of nature and its phenomenon. So now, if I write the definition, if I write the definition of physics, so I can write here. Branch of science. It is a branch of science which deals with which deals with study of study of nature and its phenomenon. Other 
materials then you know uh, let's say propulsion of rocket these are all some comes under one topic called as mechanics second one is thermodynamics as the word says thermodynamics the first word is thermo heat dynamics continuously changing so that means what heat is transforming from one form to another form at that time what happens to the system or what happens to the nature or what happens to the properties of the matter that we are studying in the word called thermodynamics and the next one is c electromagnetics or electromagnetic properties or electron they means of says electrons are there magnetic properties are there so when the electrons are in motion they constitute electric current as well as the magnetic field in that situation how the matter how the matter will react to this electric magnetic properties that we are studying in the topic called electromagnetic and the next one is say optics optics means something related to the light so in this optics so now we study reflection refraction polarization interference diffraction etc then we are studying the behavior of light with the material or the bodies that we are studying under the topic called as optics after this if you go to the quantum mechanics of the modern physics if i take up the next topic that is modern physics modern physics is basically deals with the study of atoms in the ai so now we laid the foundation in the beginning of 20th century for this branch of physics that is modern physics of quantum mechanics which basically talks of atoms nuclei and their reactions friends nowadays most of the energies are derived from this nuclei only i think what i heard about called as nuclear reactors nuclear energy so they are all nowadays they are all just comes under one topic called as modern physics or quantum mechanics then if i talk of science and technology or physics and technology so we can name many such different branches in science if we take a steam engine which works on laws of thermodynamics if you take the branch called nuclear force which deals with the nuclear fusion if you take radio and television which deals with the propagation of electromagnetic wave then if you take the computer it is all about what digital technology and if you go to the laser it is a light amplification process if you take the rocket propulsion it is newton laws of motion if you took, take to the you know current or induced emf and we can come across electromagnetic or the faraday law of electromagnetic induction if you take an uh, aeroplane it is parallel there if you take optical fibers it is total internal reflection tir so such a excitement scope is there in the physics department or in the physics field or in physics subject friends in the next class we are studying the fundamental forces of science or the fundamental forces present in the nature thank you